And still in the news, President Mohamed Buhari has reacted to the outcry on the reform of the Nigerian police force, promising to extensively reform the force. He disclosed this while delivering a speech at the launch of the presidential youth empowerment scheme at the State House in Abuja. The recent genuine concerns and agitations by Nigerians about the excessive use of force and in some cases extrajudicial killings and wrongful conduct by means of the Nigerian police force. The disbanding of SARS is only the first step in our commitment to extensive police reform in order to ensure that the primary duty of the police and other law enforcement agencies remains the protection of lives and livelihoods of our people. President Buhari equally assures the protesting public that officers involved in the extrajudicial killings will be fished out and punished. We will also ensure that all those responsible for misconduct or wrongful acts are brought to justice. We also deeply regret the loss of life of the young men in Ohio State during the recent demonstrations. I have directed that the circumstances of his death should be thoroughly investigated. Meanwhile, it is important to recognize that the vast majority of men and women of the police force are hardworking and diligent in performing their duties. The few bad eggs should not be allowed to tarnish the image and the reputation the Nigerian police has pledged to ensure that officers of the just disbanded Federal Special Anti-Robbery Squad, who were found guilty of the various crimes leveled against the unit, would be appropriately dealt with. The Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamu, made the declaration while speaking with ace musician David O and his team at the force headquarters in Abuja. Adamu, however, added that this can only be possible after an investigative panel which will encompass members of the public, civil society organizations, as well as other stakeholders have been put together. Our five demands, this is what's Number one, immediate release of all arrested protesters. Justice for all deceased victims of police brutality and appropriate compensation for their families. Setting up an independent body to oversee the investigation and prosecution of all reports of police misconduct, psychological e evaluation and retraining of all disbanded SARS officers before they can be redeployed. Increase police salary so that they are adequately compensated for protecting lives and property of citizens. An investigation team will be constituted, which will include civil society organizations, in identifying all those abuses, and that those that are found culpable will be punished. That is justice. SARS is disbanded, but people are still protesting. We don't understand the reason. Because when the unit is disbanded, as you rightly observe, it is not just one day mm -hmm. that you will get effect. You will take some steps in order to put another one in place and take all the necessary corrections that should have been made so that you will have a unit that will be acceptable to everybody. This unit was disbanded yesterday. We expected that the protesters will calm down. calm down and give us chance to interface with people like you, the civil society organization, and take their input into the next structure we are bringing. Joining us live is security expert Tony Foyeton and also joining us from the NSARS protest ground at the Leki Tollgate is PLOS TV Africa senior news correspondent Fumi Unajefe. Thank you both for joining us.
All right, I'm going to kick off with uh, speaking with Fumi, who is live at the protest uh, ground. Can you hear us uh, clearly? All right, Otari, yeah, I don't know if you can hear me. There's a lot of noise in the background. Yes, I hear um, The protesters have finally arrived at the toll gate, and the protests have begun. There's a lot of chanting going on. They're requesting that the um, police should be reformed. They're requesting that people that were detained should be released as well. And all the five demands earlier um, demanded, if you remember, there was a, a demand, a, a report, uh, a statement that was released on, um, on Sunday asking for five demands, that until those demands have been met, they will not stop protesting. And that they feel that the federal government is paying lip service to disbanding SARS. And they also want um, a reform. And one of the very fundamental things I must point out about this protest is that there is no leader. I've gone around to ask them, oh, who is the leader? Who can I speak with? Anybody can speak, but there is no leader. They keep telling me there's no leader. They don't want anyone to take over the protest. There is no leader, um, you know, for this protest. So you can hear all the songs behind. There's still no um, police. Um, I haven't seen any police men on site so far, except for the LCCI officials who have now left um, the toll gate. They have left everywhere, just, you know, staying um, 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 aside. And then the the, um, uh, the vehicles are diverted to the alternative route. And some are even actually just turning right back and heading back um, in the direction that they're coming from. What are their numbers like uh, currently? Uh, the last time we spoke, it seemed like they were, they were still trickling in. Um, have they gotten a lot more um, right now? Oh yes, there are a lot more now. I even just had a, um, I just got a report from our reporter at Muriel Kuala. If you remember, um, last night there were reports that it was going to be protests at Muriel Kuala. They have been asked to divert to the Lekki toll gate. They have all been asked to divert to the Lekki toll gate. And more protesters are coming in every um, minute. So in the past um, 10 minutes now, we've seen more people um, tripping. So there are a lot more than um, about 10 or 20 minutes ago. So even the people from the uh, Muri Okola have been asked to come here to the Lekki toll gate. And, and what, from the people that you spoke with, what are the biggest demands that they are still making? And why don't they still okay. believe in, in the words of the presidency and the IG? Well, they say based on past experience that the police has been disbanded about four times, um, 2017, 2018, 2019, and the same time, same thing again, 2020. And they just believe that the government is doing lip service. That yes, because I asked one of the protesters that look, reforms are um, conversations are going on in Abuja. Why don't they wait till you know the conversations are over before they continue with their protest? They're saying no. That once the conversations have been made, there should be a proper announcement. There should be an executive order to tell them that all the things that they have demanded for are now being put in place. The feel is another lip service. Um, somebody already said they don't trust the government so now until things are actually done. And then, of course, yesterday, um, if you remember, a lot of protesters were arrested. They want all the protesters that were arrested to be released and that no one should be shot because it's just been a peaceful um, protest. They say they'll be here as long. They'll continue to come out for protests every day until things change. All right. Um, we, we would, of course, uh, get back to you. Um, thank you so much for, of course, being there to, uh, to help monitor Thank and, you, um, sorry. see what's going on Thank over you. there. And hopefully we can also get to speak with one or two of the protesters uh, next time that we reconnect Oh, definitely. With you. I'm trying to work on it. Because they're gathering themselves, um, they refuse to speak to the camera just yet. But once I get lay hold on someone, we'll, I'll come back to you in the studio. Thank you very much, Fumi. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.